Hello folks, uh, welcome to another video on web test. In this video, we are going to cover uh, another backtesting method. Uh, the backtesting method that we are going to cover is adjustment based strategies on intraday basis. Okay. So adjustment based strategies is nothing but uh, if a certain condition is met. Okay. Then if you make an adjustment to the strategy, how that strategy uh, part performs okay and uh, the adjustments can be different kinds which i'll discuss uh, in this video now there are many strategies uh, and then we are only going to show you four strategies uh, at present in the op test which is rolling short straddle rolling long straddle rolling short triangle and rolling short long triangle so we are going to cover rolling short straddle in this particular uh, video. Now, in, uh, uh, so the parameters are like this. Okay, so let's consider rolling short straddle, and then we'll do back testing for two years, and then we do it only on weeklies, and this is on intraday basis, right? So every day we use weeklies and do this rolling straddle method. Now, what is rolling straddle method, right? It's uh, quite simple. Now, I have put an uh, straddle here. Right? So, this is a straddle. Now, if the positional delta of this particular uh, short straddle, okay, breaches 30 delta, minus 30 delta or plus 30 delta, then we are going to roll over the straddle to at the money strike, okay? From the current at the uh, from the current strike to a new at the money strike, okay? Now that is one kind of adjustment. Now another kind of adjustment is when stop loss of one leg hits. So either could be a stop loss on put leg or a stop loss on the call leg. If stop loss is hit on either one of the leg. Then again, we are going to roll over the straddle to the new at the money strike. Now, because the delta breach, that minus 30 or plus 30 delta, or the stop loss of either one of the put or call leg happens only when the underlying moves, right? In this case, Nifty, it moves in one particular direction strongly. So only then, then we are going to roll over this straddle to the new at the money strike. So now, apart from this, we can have other criteria, so points. Now, points means, now if I, let's say, the uh, we have at the money uh, straddle, okay, at part one particular uh, strike price, let's say here in this uh, 22,100. Now, I say do a rollover of straddle when uh, the the underlying moves by 100 points to let's say 22,200 or 22,000, uh, 22,000, right? 100 this way or 100 uh, the other way. Or it could be 200 points. It's totally up to you. Now, when that movement happens in the underlying, then you roll over the straddle to the add the money strike. Points. Now, the idea is that that we are trying to, you know, trying to get more premium by rolling over our straddle at you know at any given time so let's say we have stayed in one particular straddle for some time and we are profitable and then later the underlying has moved and it, it might uh, so it might have its stop loss or it might have breached our delta or it has moved by 100 points then we roll over a straddle again we get try to get more premium there right so we Keep on trying to increase our profitable zone and try to be more profitable than just leaving the straddle as it is. Okay. Now let's see how this uh, this uh, backtesting works. Okay. So two years we'll do, and then weeklies we'll take uh, weekly options in the Nifty, and entry time is at nine twenty. Now this you can change. Maybe you don't want to do it early. Maybe you want to do after 10 o'clock. What you can do? You simply change the time here, like go to 10, like this, okay? 
and then you can simply select else. But let's follow the basic one, which is uh, 920. All right. Now exit time is around 320. If you know the uh, nothing happens to that straddle, then we we wait till uh, 320. Now we can select the days. Do you want to do all the days, like all the days of the week, or just on the expiry day? That you can decide. Now do not enter trade after one. Now let's say we have a rolling straddle. Okay. Now don't enter a new trade or don't enter even if there is a possibility of rollover. Don't do that after one o'clock. Why? Because uh, there might be some huge movement after certain time, like after one o'clock or after two o'clock. And this some people follow. So this is for those kind of traders who don't want to enter any more new trades after one o'clock. Okay. Now maximum trades per day. Now, now let's say so there is a rollover. So it is stop loss is it or delta is breach. Now I want to roll over, right? So one trade is in the beginning is one trade. After the rollover is two trades. So at a given in a given day, only two straddles will be possible if I select maximum trades per day. Two. Two straddles maximum. Now if I make it three, so I can roll over three times. So it is now, it's totally up to you how many rollovers you want to do. Maybe one rollover is good enough in a day. Just to control maybe your brokerage or CPS and all those things, right? Now, obviously, if you want to change and backtest, you can do that. Now, what is the rolling criteria? As I already said, there are three kinds of rolling criteria. Either stop loss is it or our target is it. Target, for example, you have a straddle. No target as in hit. But underlying has moved slightly little bit more. So then in that case, then I can do a uh, 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 rollover. Okay. So let's say my target is 30% of the premium of straddle. So the moment I get 30%, I have this stock has moved. Then I roll over. Stock or underlying has moved. I roll over. And points, as I said, if it moves down by 100 points or up by 100 points, then also you roll over. And the positional delta, if the positional delta is nothing but when you uh, add up both the deltas uh, of the individual legs of a straddle chart straddle, then you get positional delta. Whenever that breaches 30, now it could be 30, it could be 20, it's totally up to it. So in this case, we use 30 as a default, but today we'll try with stop loss and target criteria. Now, here I'm keeping default stop loss of 30% of premium. So it could be like 30% of call leg or 30% of uh, put leg premium, right? So if uh, uh, premium is 100 rupees in call leg or put leg, and if either of the leg reaches 130 rupees, okay, 30%, right, of that, 30% of 100 rupees is 30. So 100 plus 30, that 130. So whenever it reaches 130, then you exit uh, that particular straddle and roll over to other money uh, strike price, another straddle. All right, so now delta strike selection method obviously is delta because we want to select other money. So we choose 50 delta, call and put, right? Now the marginal cocktail employed is the, the what, you, what you require on, on this particular day how much uh, capital is required for a short straddle. Now this you can change, it's totally customizable. So you can make, let's say 150,000 instead of 153, maybe your brokerage has a different requirement for straddle. Then you can do that. Now how much brokerage is required per trade? So for example, for entering a short straddle and exiting a short straddle, like you have two legs, so two trades, right? So 60, 60 for entry and exit, entry and exit for two legs, okay? So, so for each entry and exit, you have 60 rupees of brokerage. Now again, you can change this as per the brokerage that you encounter in your, with your brokerage. All right, so these are the criteria. And the lot quantity is one. So one call leg and one put leg that we shot 
for the short rider. And this we are doing in monthly for two years. So let's wait for some time. It takes some time because we have to do on intraday basis. So almost around the 500, I would say, will be the plates. Now remember that rollover doesn't happen each and every day. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't happen. Depends on the market conditions, right? So we got around 523 trades, okay? So, so this is the criteria, right? Now, now look here, the PNL is 64,000 for 150,000 capital employed. 523 trades. Now the brokerage for all the trades is on 62,000. I mean, it's almost like, you know, your PNL, you barely getting any PNL, right? So what does it mean that you cannot do this strategy it is with just one lot each, right? So you have to increase your, uh, the number of uh, quantity. Then only this makes sense, right? The good thing is that the expectancy is positive. It has decent win rate and uh, the drawdown is okay. 9% is decent, not bad. So now, can we improve this by any way? So now let's say I want to increase the quantity so that my brokerage doesn't change, right? This is per order. The brokerage is per order. So even if I increase my volume, my brokerage doesn't change, but my PNL will change and the margin requirement will also change this, okay? Now let's say this is 750,000, okay? Now the same thing, we'll backtest and we'll see what happens. I think, I believe that most of the uh, result uh, parameters will more or less, right? The only thing will change is the brokerage part. Now here, so it's 7.5 lakhs. So my PNL is 3.2 lakhs. So now by increasing the quantity, the as a percentage, the uh, the brokerage as a percentage of your PNL has been reduced by a lot. Okay. So now, so these are the uh, statistics that you get. And here is the yearly calendar where we break down the PNL of each month in that particular year and the number of trades taken in that particular month. Okay. So here you, on an average, you can see around 20 days is the number of trades that it takes, right? Now, you can also go and look uh, what has happened in, in, in that particular month, okay? Now, here you can see in this particular month, April of 2023, it was very good. Just three loss-making trades and uh, the remaining ones are more or less prof profit-making trades. Now, now, if you don't want to do uh, on all the days, okay, you want to trade only on one particular uh, one particular day. For example, let's look in August of uh, 2022. Right? It's all over. The PNL is all over, right? In some days it was good. In some days it was bad. But what if I want to do only on expiry day? Okay? Now let's say I want to do only on Thursday. Then what happens? Okay. The number of trades have been reduced only 103. And obviously, your brokerage is also reduced. And your returns is 13.37%. Now, remember, this we are doing only one day instead of five days on an average. Okay? So, so maybe you can increase your quantity by five times. For example, I'm just talking in that sense. But I'm just saying. So, if you actually look, on the expiry, it is actually better. 13.37%. But on five days, what we saw around 44% or so. So if you multiply this into five, right, it is much higher. Okay. So, uh, and again, the expectancy is much higher, is and much better. And your win rate is also improved, your win loss ratio improved. So overall, the factors are much better if you do only on Thursday. 
and maximum consecutive losses also are good. And your drawdown is also better. That was around 9% earlier. And this is uh, 8% or so. And it's in the beginning it happens. Okay. Now like this, you know, you can change different parameters and see how each one of those behaves. Now let's say it's, I have the, everything is same. Now, instead of my rolling criteria, I want to change it to delta. And positional delta of 30. Whenever 30 delta is breached, then I want to change. Then how the results will look? Okay. Look, 13% and 73% win rate. Now let's see if that changes anything. So yeah. Now, if you look here, this has improved slightly. Your returns are maybe went up by 2% and win rate and uh, win loss win -less ratio. And maximum all are more or less similar in a way. Because, you know, 30 delta breach and your 30% uh, stop loss, maybe they are close enough, I would believe. So you'll get, you know, more or less similar results in with uh, both these uh, parameters. But you can you can change you know different parameters and check uh, what works best for you, okay. I hope uh, you will find uh, this uh, adjustment based uh, strategies uh, interesting. This rolling short straddle, and you can suggest what more adjustment based strategies we can add, and we will add them uh, in, in this list so that you can backtest those as well as per your criteria, and. If you have any suggestions also, please leave them in the comment and we will uh, attend to them and we'll try to incorporate all those changes uh, in the test. Okay, thank you uh, and all the best.